See, this is one of the reasons I usually burn stuff. I completely forgot about it. today's video we're gonna make some tacos the easy easy way to make tacos it's my friend Jahan and today's video we're going or actually I'm gonna show him how to make tacos he has no experience but careful for me I don't know anything about this but this is not a big deal like, I'm gonna show you that anyone can make tacos and right now I'm gonna make it with oyster mushroom tortillas and also we're gonna make one sriracha with chipotle adobo also you need a little uh, plant-based vegan aid so yes plant-based vegan aid is basically easily and the most easy taco just we're gonna add in as a topping something like cheese vegan cheese and what is what is and the uh, toppings is optional so we're gonna add a little bit of lettuce cheese sriracha aioli we're gonna saute a little bit of mushroom, but this is his first time, but I'm gonna show you anyone can make tacos. And I cook like it. a five-year-old, so. <laughs> and that's it. We're gonna cook for three people. So, but I have a bunch of mushroom. If you don't have enough tortilla, tortilla, we, you can add it. I mean, uh, you can eat it by itself and just with sriracha, you can see that it's delicious. Uh, you're gonna love it. So you're gonna clean the mushroom first, and also you're gonna peel them like this on this way if you really notice that big or long pieces just separate it try to separate them um, on this way if you really notice at the end that it's a little dirty just you should remove it with this small knife look like flowers she loves me she <laughs> does it she loves me once you're done we're gonna heat up the saucepan and after it's cut we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil and we're going to salt it I don't know how to do that. Yeah, it's, I know what salt is. Yeah, I, I know we all know the salt hang, but I don't know how to do it. So right now I start heating the pan, the saucepan. Once it's cut, I'm gonna add it a little bit of oil. What temperature do I do you put it on? Medium high. Medium high. Medium high. So if you see, you can feel when or you can see when it's cut your saucepan. So how to know it? It just put over like 10 centimeters. On the top, and you can feel that here. Can you feel it? Yeah. This okay. So right now you're gonna add it two tablespoons of olive oil. If you don't know, just you can calculate, or you can feel one. And later on. I don't know how much it is. Okay. <laughs> I would measure it. Uh -huh. Another one. Okay. Nice. So right now move around your saucepan for touch the whole. No, the saucepan. Okay. Right. Put it right. Uh -huh. So right now it's got just reduced of a little bit the heat, just a little bit on medium. Now put your mushroom in there, just a little bit. Oh, the whole mushroom won't fit in there, just we're gonna cook on two times. Okay. So wow. that's that's good. Uh, if you don't know how to flip it, and actually if it's yeah, your no. first time, just. Move it, move it, and also you can use one thumb. The only thing that you can do is just move it for don't burn it in the bottom and just keep moving for cooking evenly. If you really notice, this is not separated and just keep on moving. Just separate it out. Yeah, it's not that big deal. And also you're gonna add a little bit of salt over all the mushrooms. Just put on your hands for spread over all the mushrooms. You can do this measurement like half teaspoon. And also if you really think that you're gonna burn it, just reduce more the heat being down. How would I know if I'm gonna burn it? When you're gonna see or notice the black color on the bottom. And also that when you're having your tongs in there or close to your saucepan, how is plastic can be melted, that's why you should move it from there. Okay, just move it, try to mess up together. This is what I was talking about. The small pieces are going to be burned quickly, but bigger pieces are going to take you longer. That's why you want to cut it up. 
you need to make sure they are the same size for cooking arena. Yeah, teaching me to cook is like teaching a five-year-old how to cook. <laughs> I've never done it. Uh, okay. Like, twice. Also, this is optional, the lever. Pepper. If you want to shake it like two, three times over, it's good. If you don't want to add it, it's optional. Is it better with it or without? Uh, optional is good. Mm -hmm. I recommend you do that. Three times? Two or three times, yeah. What about for the measurement? How much would that be? It could be just a little bit. It could be like less than a quarter of the spoon. So less than this? Or half of this? Yes, half of that. The whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> Once you see everything get a one brown color, mm -hmm. it's when it's almost ready. And also it's optional just cooking more. It's completely optional, but how it's mushroom for me is going well. It's gonna take you like one or two more minutes and that's it. After that just turn off the heat. And right now it's time to hit this one. So, so I turn that one on to something like medium? So you heat that one up when this is about two minutes from being done? Yes. Yes, it's time to wait in a little bit. And it won't burn it by itself because right now that heat is too long. Otherwise, if it's too high, it's going to be burning quickly. Yeah. See, this is one of the reasons I usually burn stuff. I completely forgot about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Right now everything is, is so that's done? Yeah, it's done. It's done. Like that? Yes. So when it's brown like that, it's completely done? Yes. At this point, you can save it right here. <laughs> okay. So save it on the roll. Um, <laughs> this one, right? Yes. Okay. I do the same method with the rest. The I'm only sorry. reason I know how to dump this is because I've seen her do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we just do the same thing, yeah? Yes. That's really easy, actually. Just salt, pepper, oil, and mushroom, right? Yes. That's the way. So right now we're gonna make uh, the sriracha yoli. Just we need the veganess, a little bit of chipotle, lemon juice or lime juice is completely optional, and that's it. So we're gonna mix it right here. Chipotle. You know, no what idea what that is. No. You don't know? I don't know anything about chipotle. Chipotle pepper. I didn't know there were peppers. There were peppers. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you know what chipotle know that, right? in the taste of the chicken? Chipotle? Yeah. yeah that, that's because oh, of all that's the peppers. the peppers. Yeah. I thought it was just a random name of something. I don't know anything about food. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. So, yeah. So then we're, we're going to make the sauce. And for the sauce, we need the food right here and the food processor. Four tablespoons of veganess, or four tables mean like a quarter of cup of veganess. Just one table of adobo sauce. Just adobo sauce, or also you can add it one one pepper, it's not a big deal. Just uh, it how, depends how much spicy you want. Spicy! So what? Yes. So I um, added a little bit, or just a little, little bit. Is that all I need for this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this is a good knife for you. <laughs> oh, <I'm gonna> <laughs> <grab it. laughs> it's gonna cut it, it's so dangerous. And, and you're going to cut it on half, because we're gonna squeeze a little bit of juice. Just a little bit. How much is a little bit? Just a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's, it looks good, there is no seed. Just a few, just few drops in there. Like that? Yes. One more. No, it's good. I didn't even See. know this exists. What does it do? <laughs> processor. It a food it's processor? A, yeah. Food processor. Oh, okay. It's just so it just put your hands over, otherwise you're just gonna move it. <laughs> and then uh, chop yes. or brine? Chop. Just a chop a little bit. Just a little bit. Just push it. Ah, so it just blends it. Like cuts it up. Yeah. And also just make sure that you get, how you added one chipotle one over pepper. there, one pepper, just make sure that you break 
down everything. I'll mix everything, just, just can open it and test it how spicy it is. If, it's, if you want more spicy, you can add it. And otherwise, it's, if you already mixed up together, you can do one spatula. So, it's going to go down everything. How many times? And also, you see, it's completely mixed. It's good, looks good, but just to make sure to bring down everything and mix at least one all together. The, all the size is really nice, it's a little bit of mayo. So I mix it in here. Yeah. So the next time, just you push a little bit at the top. Just a little bit. It's more, what do you say, pushing? Small tap? Yeah, tap. And you can yeah. test it that with your finger. You, I mean, when you're testing food, I don't recommend you lick all the time <laughs> yeah. with the same lick. Share or share with two others. More spicy. So you guys, spicy. If you wanna make it less spicy, less more spicy? spicy, more spicy. It's not spicy enough. And that's why I say that you don't really need a recipe because you can test it. That you, I mean, you're gonna add it more spicy as you test. As you so you can make it however you want. Yeah. One more. Yes. If you want, if you didn't, if you didn't really see something spicy, you can add it. One more. <laughs> It's actually a spoon for me to eat. Oh, that's good. You like it? That's really good. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit spicy, but it's not too spicy. And right now we're gonna heat up the tortillas. So again, we come back. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So you do medium? Yes, medium. Medium to high. So if you can, if you hit the straight the tortilla, it's gonna be hard or you're gonna burn it. I mean, for because we're gonna make it like something soft. Right now, you're going to add a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. I have no idea what one tablespoon is. Okay. And I don't know what a little bit is. A little bit is like that much for me. One tablespoon. And put your hands on over uh, and feel the heat. If you really, once you really feel the heat, you can start putting the tortillas. On your right On there. Oh, just with your hand, just no, a little bit. Just one? Just one, one by one. I mean, you can put three. Oh, it's going to be by three. It's going to fit three or four tortillas. It's not a big deal. I mean, there is one. Just cover a little bit. And also, you can flip it right now. And uh, then also do the same with the other. So that's going to take you something between two to three minutes. Is that done? So I do the bottom one first? Yes. Just wait until it's warm. Don't you really feel that tortillas are soft? I want to. When you're holding, I try to fold. Mm -hmm. Fold them and there's no breakdown. Ah, oh, okay. That's why you're gonna... Uh, if you really notice, this is perfect. It's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> if you really notice, that should be ready because... For the cold. color, you can see with the color. That's a good way. Why don't you turn yellow? Like more yellow? Yeah, more yellow or a little brown, or a little light brown. You can put on the bottom that one piece of paper towel or straight a little bit of the oil. Okay, that's a good way. Also, if you turn on the heat completely, it's gonna, you're gonna burn it for sure so quickly. That's why, oh, but also if you made it on low heat, Oh yeah, I learned something of them. You're gonna finish tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. One leaf for the entire thing? Yes. But you can cut it two or three leaves. This is too small. So, something that you're gonna do, I'm gonna, sometimes, all the time I like to show it first. With me how to handle the knife or how to cut it yeah. and after that uh, you can do it by yourself so just place down, put down, place down or whatever uh, and there is no matter, I mean any kind of side and just you're gonna do the rock motion into shader or a small pieces that's going to be on this way also if you can handle you can do it like Hold cigarette <laughs> Like a and cigar. You, and put your your fingers on the grip way. Otherwise you can cut it yourself if you leave it on yeah. this way. Also you can do it slowly, slowly, slowly. How you're 
cutting of coming here to this way, just move your fingers. If it's your first time holding one knife. Also, for make, make sure don't put so much pressure. It's just one lettuce, and for sure couldn't be a big deal, but all the time be sure that your cutting board is secure if it's your first time holding one knife. I mean, that's why I'm gonna put something up this. Should be a little bit of water in there, but anyway, just for any. You put it underneath? Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. okay, thank you. It doesn't move so much. How fast can you do it? You should finish this one. I want to see how fast you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is easily, easily. Wow, <laughs> oh, that's so fast. I can't even do that fast. I know. I've seen you do it. He cooks a lot more than you, though. I know. A lot more. I, mean, I recommend you do. Years. <laughs> <laughs> so there is one way. So something that I recommend you is when you washing, you can feel the freshness and also you can taste it when you eat it. So just roll it or put it down. Either one. Yes, either one. Just make sure that you're gonna yes, if it's your first time, and also bring back your thumb. <laughs> okay. Okay. This. Okay. The first time, what you're go, what you how you're gonna hold the knife is on this way. Okay. On this way. On oh, this way, you couldn't have that control because if I make I do this, uh -huh. I can move it easily. That's why you need to handle very well the the knife on this way. So it doesn't move around as much. Okay. If you are how do you say righty? Yeah, right handed. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So like this. Yes. Also, you can put your other finger. Your, index on that. Um, like this? Yes. And also put more together your with your knuckle. It's going to be touching the... How oh, closer? Closer. Okay. It's no bad for your first time. Also, if you want, at the end, when it's nothing, just remove your, your and hand. hand. Yeah. And also, if you really notice, you're almost on the edge. Then, so just bring a little bit on top there and that's a better way. Nice! Okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, right now you're gonna serve it a little bit of mushroom on all the entire tacos. So just make sure that the whole tacos have the same portion just for the... What do you think that it means? Ratio? Ratio. Yeah. That looks good. I mean, if you're going to add it a little or extra ingredients, it's good amount. Okay, so that's that's good for the mushroom. This is good for the mushroom. With one spoon, just add a little bit of sriracha and all of that. A little of chipotle. See, mine looks much more presentable than yours. <laughs> 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 I'm a professional at. Right. Oh, no, no, looks good. Look good. <laughs> I want a lot of them. What's the matter? Is that good? That's good. Yeah, this is the best meal I've ever made. Just by <laughs> looking at it. <laughs> by far. And also just uh, added a little bit of cheddar lettuce on each one. Just a little bit, just for it just is like a touch. I just use for an extra freshness. Yes, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much a little bit is. I mean, like that, that? the entire lettuce should be for the whole oh, okay, that makes sense. A little bit, like two, two shreds. <laughs> so just shred it a little bit. Of, you know how to do it? No. Just shred it like. I no, just move it across. Here. Over the place, over the time. You know what I would have done if you didn't tell me? <laughs> Squished in the room. <laughs> I thought that was, I thought it was like that when I was younger. So I squished a whole cheese in there. So yes. A little bit over the tacos. Just a little bit. Or something very, very important. What you do in that, you can whistle. Natalie. Natalie. It smells just like Parmesan, too. Yes, it's, it's vegan, right? Yes. That's what I thought. <laughs> but it looks like Parmesan and it smells like Parmesan. Basically, that's all. That's it? Yeah. 
Guys, oh guys, see this is what to my tacos. The chicken, chicken. I mean, it looks like a five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> now a five-year-old probably cooks better than me. Wow. No, I just did well. I feel so proud and right now. Let's try it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to subscribe, like, Come thank on, you so guys. much, and comment. Yeah. If you Number really one. like it, just share it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, the tacos were delicious, and also thank you for watching this video. And see you soon. We catch you. Next.